guys, Shaper 1000 here. Today we're going to be working on this Ryobi blower. Okay? But it has some issues. Alright? So, let's see if we can't get them straightened out. Alright guys, so the first issue I noticed the uh, the fuel lines were off of it and um, kind of shrunk up. That shouldn't go in there like that. You guys see me put these lines on before and you know how they should go. Alright. Uh, so I'm going to put new fuel lines on it, but if you look up here real close that's broken this is supposed to come through from the back like that and it's supposed to have you know plastic I think it's more like a Bakelite on here to come around the top of this to hold that okay so now I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that the first thing we're going to do is see if it runs we're going to put it together and we're going to run it and if it runs good I'm going to get some JB Weld and I'll make this, you know, it's not going to be pretty, but you won't be able to see it, you know, once you get your, your cover on and all that, you know. Um, it won't be very pretty, but it'll be functional. This thing is not that old at all. I'm guessing maybe a year or two. Uh, well, almost three years now. Um, but anyway... Let's try to get, we're going to put these fuel lines on here. I know you guys have seen me do it before, but we're going to do this again. Got you up here on the table with me today. All right, so, we're going to put the fuel line on first. It's, it's long. It, you know, you want it to go back in there a good ways, you know, because this thing's always pointing forward so that's going to be where you want your fuel line and filter to go so what I'm going to do is I've got a longer one I think this is the one that came out of it but I've got a longer one well I don't know if anyone's cut anything off of here which they probably have um, I mean it's got to go out this hole and up into the carburetor it it may be long enough um we just gotta put it in. yeah it's been in there before because i can see right here that's where it was coming up out of the hole um I, you know what let's just let's put a longer line on it and i'm going to do the same thing i did before i'm going to uh like I've already started to put this through something changed my mind for some reason it's already got a hole pierced there yeah we're just uh, um, I could buy an intake for this thing pretty cheap but if we can fix it that'll even be better because Remember, we're fixing these to resell. A couple things is going to need carburetors. Um, I don't know what the guy wants to do about them. If he wants to put carburetors on them because they are cheap. But, you know, you're talking $14 on a carburetor. That's coming out of your, uh, your profit margin, you know. That's eating into your profit. So, you got to be careful how much you put into these things. Um... A couple things that may be cheaper just to sell them as is, you know, needs carburetor because everything will start up and will run. But, uh, like I said, just some things they're mostly carburetors. A lot of times you can get by with cleaning them. I have got a couple of them running by cleaning them. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out through here a good ways. And I'll pull it back up through. I 
after I see about how far down in there I want this to go. Alright, so let's clip this end off of here. For some reason my handles aren't wanting to stay on these pliers, probably because they're cheap. But I needed a pair of these and I got them for a buck at a flea market or yard sale or something. So I did need a pair of them. So let's go ahead and put our filter on. Um, the filter looks great. you know. So somebody, you know, they screwed up some somewhere, somehow. I, I can blow through it. I can suck air through it. Now let's stick this down in here and see how far down it goes. I want to make sure it goes clear up to the front and perfect. Alright, I'm going to leave that like that. This one's for the return. Like I said, it, it just, you know, hit a leak there. Okay? We don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one for the return. Alright? So I've got to cut it off at an angle. Alright. Yeah, this one's going through pretty good. So I may not have to use the wire. Maybe not. Just get it started, get it go down in there enough. Right. Yeah, see it over there on the right? A little piece sticking down. That's what I'm trying to pull down through. This is return. It's just got to go in a little bit. Okay, so that's in there. Now this carburetor, see that bulb? It's not cracked or anything. It seems to be working, but I got new ones here. So let's go ahead and try to put a new uh, primer bulb on this thing. Right, let me move you around here. Alright, get you up here where you can see a little bit better about right there and we're going to try to hopefully this carburetor is good hopefully the only reason why they took it off was because of the lines but I'm looking at down in here um, it doesn't it doesn't look like they've had the tool you got to have a special tool to adjust these carburetors which I have to go get one but uh, it doesn't look like shiny or scratched marks where they've tried to adjust it so hopefully they haven't had a problem with this Hopefully it was just the lines. They took the carburetor off for some reason to do that. Hopefully, again. And, um... Alright, sorry about that. And ended up... Maybe they thought you had to take the carburetor clear off. I don't know. And ended up breaking that, uh... That... The intake where the bolt slides through. I'm just... You know, okay. All right. Let's see if they're the same size. Hmm, that looks a little thick there. So it may not work. I've got other ones. Check that one. I think these three I've got over here are the same, but I've got other ones in my drawer. Yeah, yeah, this will work. This will work. Let's clean this off just a shade. Oh yeah, that'll be fine. Good deal. Something goes right, huh? I've got a... Uh, I was going to put the, uh, the recoil pull rope back on the uh, the edger pull rope we just restrung but uh, I lost a very important part to it a little bolt and a little spacer for the shut off on it so not sure about and for the throttle to work race I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that but alright 
Okay, seems to be decent. Now let's get you up here. And let's put this carburetor on here. This is the return. Let me check and make sure. Okay, because this thing sets like this. So that one there is going to be pickup. And this one here, you can't see shit. This one's going to be the return, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on here. I mean, I don't know. I mean, they've got this buggered up for some reason. I don't know why. Um, maybe it'll catch catch and hold long enough for us to, to see if this thing's going to run. And like I said, if it does, then I will be able to uh, I'll get some JB Weld and build the piece I need to build around that. Let's cut it off about right there. Turn line on. Ooh. sure got it right yeah what it does is suck it up through the carburetor pulls it all the way through the carburetor okay we'll cut it off about right here this is the main the main one all right like that okay bend you guys up here a little bit now, this is going to go on here, just like that. Now, hopefully, this will grab enough, just enough for it to hold. So we can see if it's running. I mean, I don't mind buying JP Weld because I'll use it for other things. It won't be just on this one machine. I'll, you know, use it for a lot of stuff around the shop here. I mean, that's probably what they tried to do. Well, let's get the bottom one on, then we'll mess with the top. See those? Those should screw on fairly easy. Oh. Just like that. Ah, come on, a little bit more. If I can hold it, maybe. It may. Actually, that's fairly tight. Now let's put our... Oh man. Yep, I forgot to hook the throttle up. That's not a big deal. I'll show you guys that too. This goes down in there just like that. It's got a throttle lock on top, so when we switch to shut it off, all right, let's, let's in here. This thing came to me in a box, <laughs> so I did clean the. Uh, I did clean out the um, the fuel tank. It wasn't real bad. It's a plastic tank. Of course, there was no water or anything in it. It was just, uh, you know, there was some dirt down in there. So 
I did clean it out. Uh, watch, it was probably just a bad plug, bad spark plug or something. I had a guy bring me a lawnmower at one time. He says, I don't know what's going on. He's one of them guys, oh, I've been working on things since I was a kid. I, I know everything. But this one's got me stumped. Huh? Okay, all right, no problem. What you got going on? Well, it won't run. So, wasn't getting no fuel, so I'm missing the screw. So, it wasn't getting no, there it is. Wasn't getting no fuel, so put a new carburetor on it. Still won't run. Said, hmm, that's weird. It wasn't getting no fuel. I huh? said, nope, wasn't getting no fuel. So, well, what happens if you spray fuel on the carburetor? Will it start? Well, you ain't supposed to do that. I said, it don't matter. It's only going to be just for a second. Will it start? I, said, I don't know. I went over, shot a little starting fluid in it, pulled it a couple times. It was right. It wouldn't run. I said, can you fix it? I said, yeah. You check the spark plug on it? Well, no. Well, that should be the first thing you do is check the damn spark plug. Pull the spark plug out. No spark. It was fouled out. I put a new plug in it for him. It fired up first crank. What an idiot. He went and bought, I don't know, it was like a 30 or $40 carburetor and put it on there. And issue. He was like, what do you think? They'll take a bat? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> All right. Well, it's time to see this thing will run. I think I got a little mixed gas over here. And I don't think I've got enough. This is not what I'm using. This is just what I mix my mix my fuel in. Okay, I'm going to have to mix some fuel and then I'll be right back with you guys. Hang tight. Alright, I mixed me up some. Um... As you can see, the cap here says 50 to 1. So that's what I mixed this up at. I'm just going to put enough in it to see if it's going to run. Uh, let's go a little bit more. There we go. cap on now let's see if we can get any fuel to pump up through this primer bulb there it is see the fuel and I can see it down here in this line watch this line right here you can see it pumping back through see it it's returning okay Let's take this thing outside and see if we can get it to start. And if it runs okay, then I'll put this back on for now. And then once I get some, uh, uh, shit, JB Weld, we'll put some JB Weld on that. Half choke. Now it's wide open. Okay, so it sounds like I'm going to have to adjust this carburetor. Hopefully I don't need a carburetor. But...
let me adjust this carburetor and then let's see what we come up with. Alright, got my little deal there. to be sold. This on here. And it does have the tubes for it. There we go. Until it clicks. There we go. just messing around we got lucky on that one the only thing I'm gonna to have to do is uh, is get some JB weld which I like I said um, I'm not really going to count that as a cost because I use it for other things and I also need it for a couple other things um, so that's not going to be a cost 
uh, a little bit of fuel. What's a half tank of fuel in that thing? I mean, you know, I used uh, I used this to mix it 50 to 1, and there's not much in this, guys. That thing is about. It'll almost fill this can up. And this can, which I like to have these around, but I don't have any, but it's great for mixing. Uh, 40 to 1, 50 to 1, two cycle fuel. They have regular, regular fuel. I like to have it around once in a while, but this is probably only got about that much out of it. So I still got that much more left in there from what I mixed. So I, I don't count the fuel as a cost because I will give them a half a tank of fuel. I deserve a treat. What do you guys think, huh? Uh, I will give them a half a tank of fuel. I'm not going to fill these up when we sell them all the way. I'm just going to fill them up halfway. You know, it's like the four-wheeler. I only had a half a tank of fuel in it. Uh, they can fill them up, you know. I mean, for what they're paying... You know, like that's probably a $40 blower. I'll put 50 on it. It's a Brobe. It's a name brand, but it's not like a Still or, you know, Echo or anything like that. It'd bring more money. So I'll put 50 on it. Maybe we'll get 40 out of it. And then me and the other gentleman, me and Gary, we split. We split the profit. Um, which we sold the pole saw. I split with him on that. Um... We're going to sell this. I'll split with him whatever we get out of this. I'll get in contact with him and see if he wants to pick it up or if he just wants me to sell them too. And uh, see if the prices are okay with him. You know, I mean, I'm sure he gets them next to nothing. I mean, he buys that stuff like in a bunch of piles. Um, but everything he's brought to me will start up and run. But like I said, some things need a need a carburetor like uh, I can get a, a carburetor for a pole and chainsaw for around 12 bucks but you can buy a brand new chainsaw for 100 bucks a week we got to keep those polling saws are down there you know you're going to get 30 40 maybe 50 for a real good one we got one over here that would probably be worth 50 because it's a big one it's a 42 cc uh, so it's a bigger one we can probably get 50 out of that uh, I think I can adjust the car, but if not, I think that's worth putting 10 or 12 bucks into uh, uh, into a new carburetor on that one. You know, if we make, I'm figuring if we make 20 bucks a piece, I'm good with that. I'm sure he's good with that. Um, if it was an Echo, that that'd be no no question. You know, or still definitely a still, that'd be no question. I'd just order the carburetor and throw it on there because then I know we could really. We could really make some money on it. I mean, I got some time in it. Like, that thing probably only took me an hour, you know, if that. So, you know, what's my time worth? Well, to me, my time's worth, you know, 30 bucks an hour. But what else would I be doing, you know? So, well, I'm supposed to be resting again. Uh, so, I'm going to get in trouble again. Uh, she told me when she left. She asked me if I wanted to go and... I said, no, I almost said, because I got things to do around here. She said, you want to go? I said, I, well, I thought about it, and I was like, nah, no, I'm going to stay here. She said, then you rest. Whew. Thank God I didn't get it out, because there was a couple things I wanted to do. And I got them done, but, you know, it's just, she worries about me too much, you know. But, uh, so tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow's uh, New Year's Eve. I'm going to go set up with the other guys down there, Lewis, and uh, not down at the end of our street, but a couple miles up the road. There's a split. There used to be a gas station there, and uh, they set up there. I, I set up there one other time. Uh, I didn't do real well. I did well. I made 40 bucks, but that's because I sold the uh, I sold that uh, motor I had. I had 45 on the motor. Or 50, no, 45. And a uh, guy bought it. And uh, I didn't sell anything else, but there's all kinds of traffic because there's two major, inter two major, I call it, they're, they're not like interstates, but they're highways, you know. They meet right there. So uh, 
it's a pretty good place. It might have just been a bad day. I mean, I'll try a place a couple times, you know, three or four times maybe, and see what it's, you know, and then we'll go from there. Uh, so I'll try it again. It might have just been a bad day, but, you know, who knows. But they're going to set up, and they're going to try it down there, and uh, I said, well, I'll come down with you guys. She's going to drop me off. I'm just bringing a few things, so I probably won't do very good, but I'm going to bring my knives. All that stuff I bought yesterday uh, he had in this basket uh, had that airsoft gun with all the little pellets for it it's got a laser on it I got that and I got a bunch of knives a couple other things um, I know people people what I know what some some of my haters are going to say well if you're hunting for money why are you buying more stuff because you have to buy stock if you're going to sell it you know you can only sell so much stuff and then you're out uh, I've got I got about I think it was 37 knives you know pocket knives uh, you know some of them are ten dollar knives there was there was three ten dollar knives uh, no there was four ten dollar knives and uh, just you know for one knife they were in cases I already sold one of those knives about two hours later I sold one of them for ten bucks uh, you know so I got but anyway I, I got almost two hundred dollars worth of stuff well actually over two hundred dollars worth of stuff if you count the the one dollar knives and you know the little pocket knives um, I, I got it all for twenty five bucks I bought he said, oh, there was picture frames. Uh, I got five picture frames, decent picture frames. you probably seen them in yesterday's vlog if you watched it. He said, from this end of the table over to this end, 25 bucks. You, you can't beat it, you know. I mean, that's wholesale price there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, and I already got $10 of that back on one knife. One knife. I had $10 on it back, of it back. So, you know... Uh, that was a good investment, a uh, real good investment when you when you can buy stuff like that, uh, like the four wheeler. That was a good investment. I had nothing in it, absolutely nothing, but a few hours of my time. Um, so that was a good deal. Like running across them, uh, that tractor Jerry gave me. I'd I'd really like to keep it, but we need the money, so I'm going to do some work on a carburetor on it. I don't think it's going to cost me any money. Um, I did pull the head on that thing, and the valves looked good. Everything looked good. Uh, what was going on, though, was I was thinking, they've got a, when you go to crank it over, it's got a, uh, a compression release on it. So that way it's not real hard on the starter. So like a lot of times, if you go start your tractor all the time, and it just starts out like, and you put a new starter and battery on, it could be that. Well, this one's working opposite. It was uh, kind of stuck in the compression release, so it was essentially running like a bad engine. So I got that straightened out. It does need a little bit of carb work. I might have put a set of blades on it. I don't know. I'll just have to check those out real good. If I can sharpen them up somewhat, I will. But really, uh, I'm thinking it's just going to need a battery. So I mean, that's about two hundred dollars there. I mean, like I said, it was free. Um, you know, I'll put 20 bucks in a battery. I might buy one online, maybe. They're like 10 or 12 bucks online. Uh, so I'll probably put a battery in it. So that's going to be all, you know, pretty much pure profit. So, you, But yeah, if you guys are thinking, well, where's he getting the money to buy all that stuff? Well, like I said, it was $25. I already made 10 of it back. Uh, that other stuff I bought off that other guy, I bought a couple items for a dollar. He said, here, you want those? I said, yeah. He said, one dollar. And I'll hook you up. I'll load you up. And he started, he gave Monkey all them flip-flops and all that stuff. And uh, so, you know, I spent a dollar there uh, on probably $70 worth of stuff. At least, at least $70 worth of stuff. And I spent a dollar. So, sometimes you have to do that. I got some, and I always got some money here, cause I, I in case I gotta make change, which I gotta get these uh, tens changed over, 
notes. I like to keep at least twenty dollars for change for people, unless we really need it. Which a couple times I had nothing to to make change with, you know. And I had, I had to put a sign up. Sorry, I have no change, you know. I mean, I did, I couldn't even break a five, you know what I mean. Um, but so hopefully things will get better in twenty twenty. And I appreciate you guys watching and listening to me chat. Um, so we've got some more stuff going on. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to work on here. Um, let's see. So we got that running. We got that fixed. I got several weed eaters over there. Monkey's got an electric one over here. She hates it, so we're just going to take it down and sell it for five bucks. And I'll keep one of mine. I got two that are mine, so I'll keep one of them and uh, for her, which I'll probably be doing the weed eating. But she likes doing that stuff too. Um, we've got. I do have to get some more fuel line. Uh, we got an auger over here, like a post hole digger, uh, ice hole digger, whatever you want to use it for. But we don't have the auger, but we've got the, you know, the main part. It needs fuel lines. It will run. I shot a little gas in the in the carburetor, and it started right up. Um, so let's see. I got I got hedge trimmers. They'll run, you know, it needs like primer bulbs, stuff like that we got, but fuel lines mostly, I gotta go pick up some fuel lines, and uh, like I said, the, the chainsaws, every one of them will run, they just don't want to stay running, so, um, and we're gonna go from there guys, so, anyway, uh, I'll bring you along with me on some of these, uh, some of these adventures, as soon as I get, get to feeling better, I'm gonna cut up some wood we got laying around here and we'll cook something in the dutch oven you know maybe we'll make a you know maybe we'll make a beef stew maybe we'll throw some bread in it bake some bread or a cake or something we'll just have to see but again thanks for watching guys shea bear the myth the man legend i'm gonna go kick back for a little bit and edit this video for you guys so appreciate you watching and uh hope you all have a happy new year and stay prosperous success guys success Bye-bye now.